to wrap up a 5K season and to announce the winners of our DAV 5K photo contest. This was the third year we've done both virtual and in-person events, and really they've complemented each other nicely and have given more people a chance to walk, roll, run, and ride for veterans no matter where they live. This year, we had participants from 55 total U.S. states and territories and even some international 5K supporters. So a huge thank you to all of you who have participated from around the world in Bangladesh, India, Great Britain, Uganda, Morocco, Liberia, Italy, and Ethiopia. The photo contest has been a great way to build and foster that sense of community, no matter where you are in the world. So it was so great to see the smiles, the locations, uh, my personal favorite, your pets from all the photos pouring in from these virtual events. So thank you so much for sending your pictures. I'll get to those winners in just a minute, but I wanted to share a few stats about the event first. We hold the DAV 5K each year to raise money to support the important programs and services DAV provides to veterans at no cost. Our mission is to keep the promise to America's veterans, and we can only do that with your participation in fundraising efforts. This year, we had over 4,000 participants. If you're keeping exact count, it's 4,043. More than 2,400 joined us at the banks in Cincinnati, and more than 1,500 of you participated virtually. All told, we raised $376,892 to support DAV's programs and services. We are able to do that thanks to the incredible effort of all of our participants and because of our generous corporate sponsors. This year's in-person top team was Mamotome with $1,470 raised and Team 3DS Metadata Veterans BRG took home the virtual top team honors by raising $10,950. The top in-person individual fundraisers were Trisha Oler with $2,500 raised, and the top virtual individual fundraiser was Sarah Long, who raised $5,905. So congratulations to all of them, and thank you for all you're doing to help us make this year such a successful year. These funds are going to make a difference in the lives of many veterans and their families. Race timing was back this year, much to the excitement of many uh, Cincinnati race participants. While we didn't have a timing component for virtual participants, we do want to recognize the fastest finishes from the Cincinnati race. For the veteran category, the fastest male runner was Zach Miller with 19 minutes and 28 seconds, and right on his heels was the fastest female veteran, Whitley Kindred, just one second behind Zach with 19 minutes, 29 seconds. For the non-veteran uh, category, the fastest male was Owen King. Now get this, an impressive time of only 16 minutes, three seconds. The fastest non-veteran female was Rocio Bauer with a time of 18 minutes, 58 seconds. Congratulations to you guys on those remarkable speeds and thanks for giving us the rest, uh, the rest of us something to look forward to next year. Don't know if I'm gonna get 16 minutes, but uh, hey, well, we can all try, right? So now onto the photo winners, uh, the photo contest. This year's contest is sponsored by Total Quality Logistics. Winners in each category will receive a $50 gift card and some sweet DAV 5K swag, including a DAV cooling towel. As I mentioned earlier, we had hundreds of submissions come in and it was just so great to see so many people participate. Uh, they all were really great photos. You're all winners in my book, but we have to pick just one from each category. So here we go. Our first category is most unique landmark. This year's winner is Trey Garcia from Fresno, California. Although he's from California, Trey along with his family mapped their 5K course right past the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. Great location. Great pros, great job overall, Trey. Congratulations to you and your family. Next up, we have best finish line. This year's winner is Vicki Megaeus Jordan from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Vicki is a perfect example that you can take part in a virtual 5K however you choose. So rather than walking, running, or riding her 5K, Vicki took to her local swimming pool where she swam her entire 5K. You might not be able to see her results on that uh, her phone screen there, but she finished in just under two hours. Congratulations, Vicky, on that. 
Our next category is most patriotic. This year's honor goes to Isaac Livshin from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Congratulations on being selected as the winner, Isaac. We can feel your participation coming through there on that T-Rex. Uh, it's also great to see patriotism being taught to our, our younger generations. The next category is certainly a fan favorite category, the best furry friend photo. We love it when our pets and animal friends join in uh, showing their support for America's veterans. This year's winner is Adeline Williams from Portland, Oregon. Adeline took part in the virtual 5K with her family, but she was most excited to share photos of her goats with us. So thank you for including them in our 5K this year, Adeline. And our last category for today is best corporate team. Uh, by engaging with coworkers and showing their support for veterans, several corporate teams took part in the virtual and Cincinnati races this year. The winning team is UPS with team package deal, UPS supply chain solutions. Team captain Brooke Casper and 18 other team members attended the Cincinnati race. Here they are pictured in front of Great American Ballpark, home of the Cincinnati Reds. So congratulations to all our winners. Thank you again to everyone who submitted their photos. It's always fantastic to see so many people from all over the country, all over the world, all in different sorts of climates and places coming together to support America's veterans. So that's a wrap for this year's DAV 5K and virtual 5K. We're looking forward for you uh, joining us again next year to walk, roll, run, and ride for veterans.